go over to your Namecheap account. So I came into my Namecheap account, signed in, and went over to this menu here. I clicked on the domain list. And here you'll see all the domains that you have. I'm going to be using this one here. So I'll click on manage. And on this page, we'll be managing the homebrew hard cider domain. And I'll scroll down to name servers. So what we're going to do is change the name servers for this domain to point towards your new Bluehost hosting account. To do that, click on this drop down and click on custom DNS. It'll prompt you to enter your name servers. So to get your name servers for your Bluehost hosting, go ahead and log into your Bluehost hosting account in this drop down or in this uh, menu here, go ahead and click on domains and it'll bring you to this page. We'll scroll down to this box here. Click on name servers and here you'll see your name servers for your hosting account. So we'll go ahead and copy this one. We'll go back to Namecheap and we'll enter it in name server one see ns1.bluehost and then we'll go back to Bluehost and we'll go ahead and copy the ns2 copy that go back to Namecheap and enter that into name server 2 and then come over to the right side here and click on save Now you'll notice that it takes up to 48 hours for this change to take effect. Um, sometimes it takes a, only a couple of hours, sometimes it takes the full 48. So now Namecheap knows that we want to send this domain to Bluehost. So we can come back over to our Bluehost account, click on domains, and then click on assign a domain to your cPanel account. And here we will enter the domain name that we are transferring. So you can go back over to Namecheap. I'm going to just copy the domain name and I will paste it in there. Make sure there's no extra spaces. And if everything is set up correctly, it will verify your domain name All right, if everything was set up correctly, uh, Bluehost should be able to verify the ownership and it will assign that domain to your hosting account. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to park the domain. I won't be setting it up on WordPress yet, but that'll be coming in a future video. If you are planning to use this domain right away to set up a WordPress site, you would click on Add on Domain and that would give you the ability to set up a WordPress site on that domain. If you have any questions about how to transfer your domain to Bluehost, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'd be happy to help. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and keep an eye out for some future videos on web hosting. Thank you.